saying with me. Okay, let's go. One, cut. Okay, you ready? One, two, I know. One, two, three. What's up? What's up, Smith Squad? We're back with another video. It's your girl Carter and you know me. Y'all, he just don't want to act right. Anyway, it's Y'all, it's your girl Carter and Nick back with another video. And first, we just want to take out the time just to say thank you guys for 400 subscribers. Woo woo! That is so amazing. We're super excited. Oh, guys, like it's it's just so amazing. On the road to 500, and I'm hoping that by maybe let's say June or July, depending on my content that um we make it to a thousand subscribers but anyways how are y'all hold on all that credit goes to her <clears throat> really it's been a minute since you've seen me yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure people been like where where's she where is he at like where you been uh work <laughs> job after job after job well yeah he was working a second job y'all so it was me all by my lonesome but that's okay he's back so she gets all that credit for uh, you know, pulling in them subscribers, I don't. But you know, all in all, you know, big ups to you. Okay. Anyways, how y'all holding up during this time, man? This coronavirus is a hot mess. And I am a social butterfly, and so <laughs> I don't like it. I am turning to an introvert, and that's just not how I am. So, like, I gotta get out of this house. I have to get out of this house and go get something to eat. I gotta go to the post office. I gotta go to the dollar store. I gotta do something. I am wearing gloves and I have been wearing that mask when I can find it, but this guy right here been staying on me. You got some hands in the You got your wife, you got this. I know that like, one person that don't know what to do with they self when they got peace of quiet. That's up. Oh, I dropped a paper clip outside. I think I need to go pick it up. Somebody gonna run over it. Whatever. I just That's I up. just can't I can't deal with this. Like I'm really hoping that it's about to be over. Man, listen. I can do anything else outside later. I'm trying to live right now. All he do is watch TV and play that dang old game, y'all. Like this is like complete paradise for him right now. Not really, because I still gotta go to work. But you work from home. We exactly. go from home. Exactly. I still gotta do something while I'm here. But I'm just saying, in your free time, you ain't gotta go nowhere. Like, this is complete, like, I spent, paradise. I spent, like, what, five, about three months of the past three months barely home and all of this stuff. I'm actually glad I can sit in this jungle for, for a few weeks. I'm ready for it to be over with, y'all. I can't, just cannot take it anymore. She'll be losing her mind, boy. It's it's just, she'll be a fiend and be found in the corner of the night. I need some fresh air. The lies. I need some the lies you tell. Who, who want to go for drinks? I could use some drinks right now. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to just say hey, thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. And then just definitely comment down below how you guys holding out. Like, what are y'all doing for fun? Uh, you know, to make the time go by. Like, what y'all doing? Like, this is the first time since probably about two or three weeks ago since I put on some makeup or did something to my hair. Shoot, put on some clothes, period. So, yeah, like, the struggle is completely real, y'all. Um, but, yeah, we miss y'all. We love y'all. And thanks again. You got anything else to say? Uh... Man, if you, you know, keep stay pride up during this time. Yeah, definitely be safe. Really ain't no joke. I mean, for me, I'm glad to stay home because I have asthma, so I have an underlying health condition. Mm -hmm. My biggest thing is I'm trying to be around for my future child and for my wife, so me catching this ain't exactly going to work. And I don't think it's in God's plan for me to catch this anyway. No, absolutely you not. You know, I'm trying to... Don't listen to her. I ain't happy to stay inside. But I haven't working two jobs about three months, so the minute I can sit down somewhere, I'm actually happy. So I'm ready for the next party at somebody's house. Shoot, we can have it at my house. Have fun. I'm ready for. I'm ready have for fun. some Go drinks. Ahead. I'm ready for some food. I'm ready for fellowship with you all my friends. Gas call for you and everybody. You fun. going too? Yeah. He going too, y'all. But anyways, just stay um, prayed up, man. You know, definitely take care of your loved ones. 
check on your folks, man. Just Wash your hands. And make sure you keep some 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 protection in your household. Mm -hmm. Folks is crazy right now. Everybody acting like it's the end of the world, and you know. Damn, they feel like it. This right here exposes the ugliness and, and humanity. But you know, mm -hmm. I, I've seen some things over the past few days that really give me hope for people, man. Because really and truly, honestly, you know, times like these really makes you reflect why you in the house all this time. The certain this kind of time you wouldn't normally take to really just reflect on stuff. So use it to your advantage, man. Me, I am personally, I'm actually happy to be home and in them in this house. Use my I'm about, I'm about to cut, you know, I, you know. I, but you know, stay prayed up, man. Give all glory to God for just you know keeping y'all you and yours safe. I pray that everybody else stays safe, you know. You know, I know you want to get out the house, but stay out for me, man. Yeah, and all of our TTC couples and all of my TTC sisters, guys, like, this is the perfect time. We're quarantined. Go ahead and make those, I don't want to say coronavirus babies. Coronavirus. <laughs> Let's just it's make those quarantine babies. Quarantine babies. Yeah. Uh, definitely. And, you know. Yeah, ladies, you got to get, right now, while y'all in the house, you got to be giving it up. I mean, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Morning, midnight snack. Gotta give it up like that, you know. If y'all doing that, more power to you. You gonna be doing that too. <laughs> more power so to y'all. I'm pull up to that thing like a drive through. <laughs> but yeah. Sure. Yeah, guys, we definitely let's I got go the ahead. late night munchies. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> let's definitely go ahead and work on those quarantine babies. And if you are seeing any other pregnancy announcements, just remember. You know, you're still a warrior. We got this. There's going to be some that, you know, are going to probably hurt our feelings. And remember, my saying is happy for them, but sad for you. But don't stay in that sad space too long. You know, get back up and be strong and do what you got to do. You know, keep going. Don't give up. I know sometimes I be feeling like, man, like <clears throat> I'm just tired of seeing negative pregnancy tests and you know i'm just tired of doing stuff but you know find something else do some research something else you could try especially since um all of the fertility clinics are kind of closed right now so you can't really do much of anything um but try on your own so do your own research and see other things you can um do one of the good things is i bought um obviously so i'll be doing a um inboxing well of unboxing the package with you guys on the next video so i'm super excited about that and you know i'm hoping that uh the reason why we haven't conceived is because i've probably just gotten my ovulation wrong i've seen a lot about that so um yeah that's pretty much it you guys like nick says stay prayed up stay washing your hands stay safe if you don't have to go out the house then don't go um but if you are an extrovert like me you gotta do what you gotta do. It's You'll just, find any reason to go outside. If it's a penny out there, you go on a pop up. I'm not going outside for a penny, okay? But I do need some social activity. I need social Sorry, no, no. people. You are, but it's like uh -oh, when I'm it's sitting. A butt behind. No, it's a butt no, because no, when I'm tell sitting me, tell in here. Like, go, go, like Y'all, what I mean is, mm -hmm, yeah. is I mean, I'll be mm -hmm, in the room mm -hmm, with yeah. him while he's okay. playing the game. Mm -hmm, yeah, oh, 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 oh. And then I'm just uh -huh. on my phone. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm, it. Yeah, look, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys again oh, so much. And uh, just to kind of piggyback off what she said, I, uh, I'm pers me personally, this, this journey for me at this point, it ain't really a, um, a, a matter of how much I'm still hurting from it. Honestly, me and my wife are in two different spaces when it comes to our journey best thing that I can tell anybody else out there that is going through the same journey is look at the struggle like it, it, it's not good to you but it is good for you everything that you go through is designed to make you strong and not break you it looks like it is and it ain't fun it is it does suck and it is gonna suck yeah definitely but I will say this man be thankful for the struggle because mm -hmm. Honestly, the struggle lets you know God ain't done with you. And, that, and that's me being a hundred with you. Yeah. The struggle lets you know God ain't done with you. And it's when the problems stop is when you really need to worry. I mean, not saying that, oh, yeah, you got you to gotta expect problems every day of your life. But when they do come around and arise, look at it as your growth period, your training day. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, man, 
life is short, life ain't promised, and honestly, man, whatever's for you is for you. Take it, take it how you can, take it how you will, but be thankful for the struggle. That's all I can tell you. Definitely, and you know, God did not give us this journey if He didn't feel that we weren't strong, weren't strong enough for it. Like we probably feel like, man, I can't take this no more. I'm tired of this, and I just quit and give up. But God gave us this journey for a reason. So this journey and this hardship that we're going through right now is just going to be a greater testimony for us when we come on and we got that fat pregnancy test and we're like, we're pregnant. Like, you're going to be, you know, so excited about that. So it's good. And it's, we're going to look back and just be like, it was all worth it. Right now, I don't see that shit. I'm like, Shh, yeah, like is it your, worth it? Have your yeah. moment. Like, like have your moment, man. You know, if you... If it's that time, that moment that you gotta break down, you gotta scream, you gotta cry, you gotta do whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, have your moment, you human. Like, I ain't telling you this to, to expect you not to be human. Have your moment and then get back to the grind. I mean, that honestly, mean. that's all you can do. Giving up only, giving up does one thing and it keeps you further and further from your dream. If you already hurting, get something for it. That, that, that's that's the way I look at it. Definitely. You already hurting from this. Quitting ain't gonna get you your reward. Get something for it. Get something for your tears, man. For real. Don't, you know, have your moment. For real. Have that moment. Scream, cry. You got to go to your own special place. I don't know what special place is when you get back. But, you know, have your moment, man. You know, have your moment and get back to the grind. And, and, and you know, take it a day at a time. Mm-hmm. Don't look for that red sunshine tomorrow. You don't know when that's coming. But you're going to prepare for the day it does come. So, just like we are right now, we don't know when. Lil Junior gonna get here or Layla. Don't well, say her name. I, whatever. Y'all ain't gonna remember right now. Yeah, whenever they do get here. I don't, honestly, I was hell bent on the boy. But at this point, I don't care what it is. Just whatever. Yeah, but when the day they do come, I'm gonna be thankful for the times that God made me wait because there's obviously some things that I need to take care of within me and in my marriage and just me as a, as a person, you know. So, while I'm waiting, all these things that I can find to fix within myself, I am. I'm, I'm, I do hurt from the fact that we're not pregnant, just like any other person, but I more rely on the fact that, you know, eventually, through this through this storm, through these trying times, I'm going to be glad that I went through them. So. Yeah. Just remember, the greater the, the wait, or the longer the wait, the greater the testimony. That pretty much sums up everything. Um, while we're on this way, we just keep going. And then when we get our testimony, it's going to be that much greater. There is a benefit. Increased sex. That's very manly, I know. Very, very, very sexist, but I'm sorry. I love it. All right, guys. Love so, it. this video has been a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But definitely check out our new TikTok. Well, it's my TikTok, so. Yeah, it's I just TikTok. wanted to do this, like, you know, uh, time couples, TikTok for you. You know, couples tag you know, thing, or whatever it was. Anyway, guys, definitely make sure you like this video, subscribe, and leave us a comment on how you're getting through this, what is it called, coronavirus pandemic, and... We love you guys so much. Bye, guys. Who fell in love first? Who's more annoying when they're hungry? Who's the homebody in the relationship? Who's more spoiled? Who's more grumpy?